Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mixed Marvel Arts. Now, ever since my post-fight show for Cater versus Chikadze was recorded, some more information has been released about Caitlin Chukagian. We spoke about her in the post-fight show, so check that out if you haven't heard it. But since that video was recorded, we found out at the post-fight press conference that Caitlin Chukagian is a, now officially a free agent. This was her last fight against Jennifer Maya on her UFC contract. So she's officially a free agent and heading into her last fight on the contract, according to her at the post-fight press conference, she spoke with the UFC, asked them if they're going to be renegotiating, and they said they wanted to see her get this fight finished with first. So they didn't renegotiate. Her fight's now over. She has no more fights left with the UFC. And now we could potentially be seeing her signing with another promotion. And I want to know what you guys think first. Who do you want to see Caitlin Chukagian sign with? Put that in the comment section down below. But as for my opinion, the UFC doesn't seem like they've been too interested in Caitlin Chukagian for a while now. In my opinion, Chukagian is an exciting fighter and a dominant fighter. I think she's the second best flyweight in the world right now. But the UFC doesn't seem like they really want to do business with her. Otherwise, why wouldn't they sign her going into her final fight on the contract? And I don't think they really like how she doesn't get a lot of finishes. She doesn't have any finishes yet in the UFC, but she was clearly going for it last night. Maybe that will change their opinion of her. But regardless, the UFC doesn't seem too keen on doing business with Chukagian to begin with. So in my opinion, Caitlin Chukagian should definitely seek getting offers from other promotions. The UFC wasn't very interested in doing business with her going into this last fight on the deal. So why should she be just waiting around for the UFC to come to her and offer a new deal? They probably won't be increasing her pay by much, if anything at all. Meanwhile, if she were to go to Bellator, maybe they could really use somebody like Chukagian. I think she could absolutely be a champion in Bellator. And honestly, Valentina Shevchenko is extremely dominant, but somebody's going to beat her eventually. Why can't it be Chukagian? She looks really good. I'm not saying she would beat Shevchenko but she definitely would have a chance in a potential rematch. But if she goes to Bellator, absolutely, I think Chukagian can become a champion over there. And Bellator could probably use a big name like her, and they could even use her as a good marketing tactic to say that they have the best flyweight in the world. It's an argument, and that's something that Bellator can use to their advantage. Or maybe she can even go to PFL. If they open up a flyweight division for her and build it around her, that would give Chukagian an opportunity to fight for $1 million. And that's my opinion. Chukagian should definitely seek offers from other promotions, see what her value is in the market. I think the UFC, personally, I think the UFC is undervaluing her. Significantly, actually. She has exciting fights. Last night was a great fight. She was looking for the finish. And I think that the UFC is undervaluing her. What do you guys think? Where do you want to see her sign? Let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm getting this right? Do you think I'm getting this wrong? Do you think the UFC is valuing her appropriately? Let me know in the comment section. But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow the link in the description to my Twitter page for more frequent Mixed Marvel Arts updates. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.